Hey guys, my name is Cornelio here, and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through how to properly clean your PC here. So the things that you're going to need for this video is number one, electronic air compressor. We're going to link all of this down in the description. Uh, so one, electronic air compressor. Number two, you're going to need some thermal paste, some really good, we suggest cryonet thermal paste. Uh, and number three, some isopropyl alcohol, 99%. This is very important that you have 99%. 97, 96, none of that's gonna work. 99 for sure, guys. And number four, of course, is gonna be cotton swabs. So the first thing, we're gonna have my friend Jose here showing us how to do this here. This is gonna be a very quick one. This is my streaming PC. We're just gonna be going through this real quick for you guys. So the first thing that you're probably gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna bring out your ear compressor here. We suggest an electronic ones so you never run out of ear. And you're gonna basically take off all the panels off of your PC here. So the reason why you do this is so you can get all that inner dust in here uh, and you can get into your fans here just in case you have your fans blocked and you can just deep clean it a little bit more properly. Um, so you're going to spray that ear right onto those panels here and onto your fans. And when you're spraying it onto your fans, guys, when you're using this ear compressor on your fans, you wanna be careful. You wanna make sure you hold down your fans here. So that's just a quick example of how you do that. If you don't hold down your fans, what's gonna happen is your fan is gonna send current to your motherboard and your motherboard is gonna get messed up and you're gonna be like, why is my motherboard messed up and why is my PC not turning on? So you definitely don't want that to happen. The next thing you're gonna do, which is probably the hardest part, but hear me out guys. What if I told you it's only four to five screws that you have to take out? It's only four to five screws, four to five, and you should be good. You should be able to do this. Now, this is gonna be replacing your thermal paste. Now, why is thermal paste so important? Your thermal paste, what that does is it basically allows your CPU to stay cool. Um, so once your CPU stay cool, your frames can get higher because your, your CPU can boost higher here. So you definitely want to have your thermal paste completely cleaned every at least three months um, so your PC can be performing how it should be. Now, we're going to take out the thermal paste. The only thing that you're gonna do, it's different for every PC here. It's different for every PC. So what you're gonna do is you're going to unscrew four of these little screws here, because that's what holds your AIO or your fan here in front of your CPU and your CPU together. AIO slash fans, your thermal paste, then it contacts your CPU. You always need thermal paste in between these and trust me, you don't wanna not have thermal paste on there. So you're going to go ahead and unscrew that. And once that's done, we're gonna be right back when, once we unscrew these four screws here. And guys, you just wanna make sure that you only do this after all the dust is removed from your case. So after you air compress it, you do like all the other steps here, then you wanna change your thermal paste here. Because if you don't, what's gonna happen is that dust is gonna get in between your AIO and your CPU here. So it's gonna get in like your thermal paste and stuff, which is a no-no. So you definitely wanna do that after all the dust is removed from your case here. So a little tip guys, just to make this easier is go ahead and warm your PC a little bit. So turn on your PC a little bit before you do this. Let it just sit for about five to 10 minutes here. And then you could turn off your PC, make sure you turn off your power supply here and you unplug the power plug here. Then you can proceed of taking off your AIO or your fan here. Why is that? So that's gonna basically allow the thermal paste to heat up and be less sticky to the CPU and it's gonna be way easier to pull it off here. So that's just a little tip that Jose like came up with here. So make sure that you follow that and be sure to do that. All right, here we go, we're taking it out. So guys, as we see here, we see that the AIO is out, we see the thermal paste right here, and we see the Intel CPU right below it. So you see that sticky thing like right there, all that sticky part, you wanna clean that. Plus what you wanna clean is this right there. So if you could clean these two parts right here, it should be perfectly spotless. So this is where you use the 99%, not 98, not 97, not 96, 99% isopropyl alcohol and you wipe this down with a clean cloth 
And as long as you get all that thermal paste off of there, you should be good. And plus you're gonna apply new thermal paste onto it here, which is gonna be awesome. So as you can see, what he's doing right now. Oh, let me see that. Ooh, it's looking a little better there. Jeez, look at that. Spotless, you want it absolutely spotless, guys. No marks or anything on it at all. Now, we're gonna go ahead and clean this part right here. Look at that, 99% alcohol. That makes it so much easier and it gets all that little old thermal paste out of there. And this is very important because what does this mean? This better thermal paste or just new thermal paste equals less temp lower temperatures. Lower temperatures equals higher boost. Higher boost equals more FPS and more FPS equals a higher KD here. So it's all linked up guys. This is very important for the safety of your PC. And you should do this every one to three months. Yes, I said it every one to three months if you want your PC performing at maximum capability because dust is your number one enemy when it comes to your PC. You have a higher chance of killing your PC from dust than with the overclock. So be mindful of that guys and make sure you treat this PC like it's your baby here. Now, here's the magic guys. This is the thermal paste. So this is the one we suggest, thermal grizzly thermal paste. You can't go wrong with it. Should be fine. Do not get liquid metal guys. Oh, for the love of God, please. Do not get liquid metal. You want to use thermal paste, it is way easier. Trust me on that. You don't want to damage your motherboard. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna just put a, like a little dot little dot right in the middle of there. Now, what you can do to have a better spread of the thermal paste is if you have a little spatula, you can actually just cleanly apply it evenly throughout your CPU here. And what that does is it evens out the whole thermal paste so you can have the best cooling possible or the most surface area possible here. So as you see here, he's putting on the thermal paste. Perfect, and that should be, you don't want too much thermal paste, guys. You want just enough thermal paste. All right, guys, so now we have the spatula, and what we're gonna do is you're basically gonna drop the sauce on it. So you drop the thermal paste sauce, and you're gonna evenly spread this out. And why is this important? Because of surface area. The more even the thermal paste is, equals the better cooling of your CPU here. It's it, We tested it, does make a difference here, so for sure, you definitely want to do this. Yes, you can leave a drop of thermal paste and that should be perfectly fine, but if you spread it out evenly, it's going to apply the overall like temperatures a little bit cooler. Definitely wanna make sure that you like try to do this and should be good. It only takes like two minutes, three minutes extra. So as you can see, He's spreading it out evenly here. And that right there, ooh, that's gonna get you those good temperatures here. That's gonna get you higher frames. This little application here can net you higher frames, which is actually the crazy part. Cause your CPU does not boost unless it's under a certain temperature. So you wanna make sure that you are applying your cooling as best as possible here. Then guys, all you have to do is plug back in your AIO and just screw it back in here. So that was the hardest part. Was that so hard? No, it was not. It's literally four screws, taking it out, cleaning it with alcohol, applying new thermal paste, spreading it like a nice piece of peanut butter and jelly sandwich, putting it back in there and screwing it back. That is all you have to do. And that's going to net your PC a longer lifespan and better FPS results here. So that is definitely key for when you are doing your PC cleaning here. This is a, just a disclaimer here. Just to let you guys know, this is just PC maintenance of how to clean your PC. This is so your PC never gets to a level where you have to completely deep clean it. This will save you so much time here because if you keep cleaning your PC like this every one to three months, then dust won't pile up to the point where you have to deep clean it where it's just a whole bunch of extra steps here. So just a disclaimer, this is just something to maintain your PC. This is a, not a full clean. If you wanna uh, see some like deep cleaning videos, definitely check out Greg Salazar and he's gonna have some videos on that, but just do these steps if you just wanna maintain your PC every one to three months. It's not anything major, but it's going to save your PC and make it last way longer here. So just wanted to get that out there. All right guys, so this is the last part. We're almost there, part four. So the last part is if your fans has a little grimy dust that's really hard to get off of it, what you're gonna do 
is you're gonna take a cotton swab, then you're gonna take your isopropyl alcohol. You're gonna pour some of your isopropyl alcohol into the little uh, like can right here or this little top, and you're gonna put your cotton swab in there. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna apply it onto your fans here and just kindly dust your fans without it spinning, which is important. So as long as you do this, you should be able to get that dust out. And after you're done with all of this, you should be able to just air compress it. But look at that, look, look, look at that little dust there. You see that? That is your enemy. <laughs> that is your enemy right there. So as long as you do this, you should be able to fully clean your PC, guys. And just after you do this, I would just pass one more ear compressor uh, round around and you should be good. But look at all that hidden dust there. You want to get all that out because that hidden dust kills your PC. Yes, I said it. It kills your PC here. So as long as you get all that done, guys, you should be good. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe uh, if you like this kind of content. But... I hope you enjoy and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Oh, and one more thing guys, if you do spill any kind of alcohol on your motherboard, you should be good because this alcohol evaporates very quickly. So as long as you don't turn on your PC for like, let's say just an hour just to be safe here, uh, you should be perfectly fine if it spills on your motherboard or any kind of like component here. Just be careful, but you should be completely fine. You have nothing to worry about here. So I hope this helps and hope you have a wonderful day.